Hi guys, I am Isa. Today, we're going to learn how to make something like this. You know, like scratch in scratch. So, like, you can look at these blocks. And then you press this play button to run your script. And your script is going to, you know, run. So, yeah, we're going to learn how to make something like that. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, change up the background a bit. So this will be white. And this place is the stage. This place is the stage. And I'm also gonna add the place that puts blocks, which is here. I want to make it a little bit more gray. And down here is going to be the place to, you know, select blocks from. I've got our interface. Now let's just put this as a garage cap here. So add size to 50. We're going to say one flat clicked. It's going to go to this exact coordinate. And it's going to set the size to 100. Wait, no, it's going to set the size to 50. And we're going to add pen because we're going to be using a pen later on. So let's erase all. And switch costume to costume one. Alright, so now it's time to start just making the blocks. This is going to be one lag click. Or I'm just going to say start. Because, you know, like, yeah. It's going to make it to be a square. This and I'm going to add a little bit of a bulge to it because that, that because that's how it is. And I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to say it's a pointed. I'm just making it a little bit smaller. So here I'm just going to say start. So start. So I'm gonna put it here. It's gonna remain there forever. I'm gonna copy it. This is going to be a uh, move ten or move ten steps or whatever. So I'm just move these points and change the color to blue. So I write move ten because I have that subscription enough. Oh yeah, every block needs to have a black outline. And that's the three pixels. Shouldn't be to you know like uh whatever x 122 and y 146 six right so now i'm gonna say when this bright clicks great quote of myself so once quick to create a quote of itself when i start has a clone so it should go to these exact coordinates and um after it goes to the like, exact coordinates, it's going to repeat until. Or I'm just going to make it a custom wall called Out of Black. One without screen refresh because we need it to run immediately. So we're going to put Out of Black here. So, repeat until not touching color black. I'm going to say that here. Repeat until not touching color black. It's going to change its y by negative 1. Now let me just uh, move the actual block. Move it here. So if you click on it, it does that. But we also need commands. I'm going to make a list called commands. So yeah, those are gonna be our basically they're just gonna be our commands. We're gonna say add move ten to commands. Now if I press this, it adds move ten. I'm also gonna add this move twenty. So now 
plus move 10 and the move 20. So we're going to add themselves into the, into the coding thing. Anyways, now it's time to implement the command onto our sprite 1. So, I was just going to add a play button, you know, to see that that, that plays your project. Just going to make it, to, just going to make it to be the square for now. So I'll put it there. I'm going to say one sprite click. I'm going to broadcast play. And when this receives play, I'm going to make a variable called index. So set index to zero. And it's going to repeat. There's a length of like repeat for the length of commands. Change index by one. And if so we're gonna say if item index of commands is equal to move 10, then we're going to move 10 steps. So once we move 10 steps, I press this button, it's going to move 10 steps twice. So yeah, that's how it works. Let me just open this command list. Oh yeah, um, on, the, on the flag click, so we have to delete all of commands. So yeah, move 10. So if I have like one move 10, I play, I'm gonna move 10 once. So uh, yeah. I'm also gonna add a move 20, just hide the commands. So let's add a move 20 to the thing. I want to say be equal to move 20, move 20 steps. So if we add some move 20s, it's gonna move 20 steps. Anyways, let's add some more blocks like turn C. We're just gonna turn clockwise. It's gonna say turn. It's gonna add this uh this thing to show you what direction it's turning in. Let me just reduce the size of the block too. So yeah, I'm gonna go to and put it here. It's sprite one. Well, it's sprite one, which is our, our you know the uh, the sprites that's on the that's on the stage. So if it equals to turn C, it's going to turn uh, fifty degrees. So now if I say turn turn turn, it's going to turn fifteen degrees some number of times. Or 30 degrees. So now we turn it one time, it's gonna, it's gonna turn that much. So it's a bit too much. Let's change it back to 15. Anyways, we're just gonna add turn CC, which is for counterclockwise. I'm going to just turn this arrow the other way. And turn CC here. So on the sprite one, if item index of command is turn CC, it's going to turn the other direction 15 degrees. And it's going to place it here. Now we turn it like this, turn it like this, and move it on the end. Turn it like this. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to run script. And it was like if I have move 20, turn move 20. It's gonna run the scripts properly. So now in this sprite thingy, you can say point to the action 90 when the flag is clicked. So it's gonna reset back to its original position. Anyways, those are other blocks like this. Change costume. 
don't really have much space in this block because I can place the such page up to CH cost. Close enough. Um so now I'm gonna change the CH cost to this color and gonna add the CH cost there. Put it at the bottom and here. I'm gonna say if index of command you go to ch cost send it's gonna go to the next cost you so now if I move then ch cost okay yeah. if I move then ch cost move and ch cost so Now, uh, as you can see, the, the collision is not really working properly. So, uh, so I have to increase the outlines to 4 on CH cost. Now, that fixes everything. Now, it does this every time we want the script. It turns in, which is its cost cube. And I'm also going to add this uh, pen map. I'm gonna say, okay, I know, pen down. So, just pen down. I'm gonna make it green because, like, it's another type of block. So, um, just pen down. Well, I guess it's gonna add pen down to the commands. So, just write one. If the index of commands equals to pen down, then winter, uh, you know, pen down. Now we just move this pen down here. And we cost you equal to. Now, as you can see, the pen is, you know, working properly now. That's why I show the commands list. Because if we do it do it this way, we'll not be able to add more than I don't know ten or so commands. But if we do it like this, we're gonna be able to add as many commands as we want. There's nothing bad happening. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna say like pen down and move to like see and turn move. Now if I run my code, should run. Okay, it's pretty slow. But as you can see, that's the blocks are gonna get there. But don't add too many because if you add too many, then um, that's gonna happen. Anyways, the next thing I'm going to add is um, something like a uh, size. I'm going to say size 10. So this increases the size by 10. So now let me just uh, use this. I'm going to add size 10. I'm also going to make a reset block with a size negative 10 block. So we're going to say size negative 10 here. So it's just going to be the sun size. Put size negative 10 here. The last block we're going to make will be the reset block. So what this reset block does is that it pretty much resets the, the, the sprite's position and, and stuff. Anyways, now let's add the size 10 and size negative 10 and um, the, the resets. So if it's equal to size 10, it's going to change size by 10. And if the reasonable command is equal to size negative 10, we should change that. Whatever equals to size 
reset. So it's gonna uh, uh, do a bunch of stuff. It's gonna set its position back to its initial position, which is 90 and 73. It's gonna set its size back to 100. It's gonna set its direction back to 90. And uh, it's not gonna really solve because what I was gonna do is the reset block. Things one team. So I'm gonna put on ten down. Move one team turn. Move one team reset. Turn. Move one team. Uh, wait. Uh, let's go to this reset block. Let me change resets here. So move one team. Okay, so I'm gonna pen down. Move one team turn. One team reset. Uh, turn, move 20, turn, reset. Okay, that didn't work well because we have to set the size to to the 50, not 100. And so now let me uh, recreate my scripts. So now you can see our script it works flawlessly. Anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave like and subscribe. So, bye.